Just outside the center of Rome in Tre Fontane, there's almost nothing to remind us of the heat and loneliness of the Sahara, the largest desert in the world. And yet there's still footprints to be seen here of the desert saint, Charles de Foucault. We're here in a beautiful oasis in the heart of Rome. This is the monastery of the Little Sisters of Jesus, an order inspired by Charles de Foucault. And here receiving us is Father Andrea, who is the vice postulator. In order for the Taureg to learn to invoke God, he created this rosary, where instead of the Our Father, he would say, My God, I love you with all my heart, with all my being. And then for the small beads, instead of the Hail Mary, he used the names of Jesus according to Muslim tradition. Father Andrea Mandonico wrote a biography about Charles de Foucault. He tells how young Charles had lost his faith and yet found his way back to God. This man was a true seeker of God. He did not settle for what others said, lowered himself even though he did not believe, and spent hours in church saying, O oh God, if you exist, make yourself known. Father Andrea emphasized that Charles de Foucault did not die as a classic martyr, although he was murdered in the Sahara on December the 1st, 1916. He says of all Muslims, Christians, idolaters, Jews, all I must find in me a brother who cares for them, the safe friend to trust. Why was he killed? First, he was not killed by the Tauregs he knew. He was killed by the Sunuzi, who came from Libya and had heard that there were weapons in his house, which the French army had entrusted them to defend themselves. And so they came in trying to steal, because they entrusted him to the custody of a young man, a 15, 16 years old, who got scared. And so they shot him in the head. But he wasn't considered by the church to be a martyr, because he wasn't killed in Odium Fidei. It was during a robbery at his home. Years after his death, Charles de Foucault was venerated by many believers. The man who had never founded a monastery himself served as an inspiration to other founders of religious orders. Cardinal Marcello Semerado, the prefect of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints, tries to explain this fascination for Foucault. Charles de Foucault was in a situation where perhaps someone would have asked him, but who is he making you do this? Why are you doing this? Is it worth it? Aren't there so many other bigger problems? Aren't there so many more important situations in which you can intervene? Instead, he chose to put himself on the side of these people and lost his life, not sick in it, but he's a victim. Martyrdom is not something to seek after. The Church does not recognize martyrs who seek it, but recognizes martyrs, those who suffer it. That is, they suffer martyrdom. However, they make you see that there is something more important. In Italian we would say, ne vale la pena, it is worth it. The miracle that finally led to the canonization of Charles de Foucault is not a classic cure, but belongs to the category of protection in a danger. It's an accident that occurred in the city of Saumur, France, the city where Charles de Foucault had received his military training. There's a chapel there, which is still the only one outside the Diocese of Angers, dedicated to Blessed Charles de Foucault. On November the 30th, 2016, during renovation work on that chapel, a 21-year-old carpenter fell 15.5 meters and narrowly escaped death. The name of this fallen carpenter also happens to be Charles. His boss, Francois Asseline, remembers. He fell on the post of the pew, a piece of wood almost two inches long. This piece of wood went through his abdomen, under his heart, and went out of his back. The wood pierced right through him. 
Il s'est empalé sur le bois. The French carpenter was not baptized, nor did he know who Charles de Foucault was. François Asseline tells us that his wife started praying immediately and also informed the local parish priest, who remembered that the next day, December the 1st, 2016, was the 100th anniversary of Charles de Foucault's death. François visited his injured co-worker several times in the hospital, even bringing him comic books about blessed Charles de Foucault. He could have died 10 times. He arrived on the operating table and everything went well. No vital organ had been touched, no after effects neither cerebral nor physical. This may also be the first known WhatsApp miracle, thanks to Francois's wife, who used the messenger service to inform the parish priest, triggering a storm of prayer to Charles de Foucault, who was still a blessed at that time. With Foucault, Catholics worldwide now have a saint who can still serve as a role model today. Time will show what miracles the saint will continue to work, even today, in the deserts of solitude in our society. Thank you.